everybody, my name is Caitlin, and you are watching Zombie Eats Books, and I am also wearing my bathrobe in this video because I'm cold, and I wear it when I'm cold around the house, and it has panda ears on it. Anyway, it's just one of those days. So I thought that I would show you a huge science fiction and fantasy book haul. I have accumulated so many books over the last few months that are science fiction and fantasy, which I don't normally do. I mean, I read science fiction and fantasy, but I don't normally just focus on science fiction and fantasy, which is kind of feels like what I've been doing lately. But also, in addition to that, I went to my local thrift shop the one that is closest to me, and discovered that they got rid of half of their store. So they don't have clothes anymore, which is fine, but they have half of a store filled with used books. And the paperbacks are a dollar, and the hardbacks are two dollars, and it is half of the store. So I picked up a few books from there as well. Those are not science fiction and fantasy but I'll show you those at the end after I show you all the SFFs books. Okay, so this first book that I got is Down Below Station by C.J. Sherry, or Cherry, and this is apparently a classic science fiction novel, and that's pretty much why I picked it up. It's by a female author, which I'm very interested in reading more science fiction and fantasy by women that also star women as um, main characters. I don't know if a woman is a main character in this book, but I wouldn't be surprised. And yeah, I'm not really sure what this one is about, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Another book that I picked up is River of Stars by Guy Gabriel K. Guy Gabriel K is a guy that I <laughs> is an author that I have not tried reading before. And, um, He's also a guy that I haven't tried reading before, uh, and his first name is Guy, if you didn't catch that dumb joke that I just made. Uh, so this is about three different characters. One is supposed to be kind of like this outlaw character, the other one is an emperor, and then another character is, I believe, the either the daughter of a scholar or she is a scholar herself. Not sure, but somehow these three characters are Connected it just sounds like a really great book, and I've heard that this guy uh, writes really strong female characters. Also picked up The Wise Man's Fear. This is book two in the King Killer Chronicles. The first book is The Name of the Wind. If you haven't read The Name of the Wind and you like fantasy, I highly, highly recommend that you go pick it up. It's fantastic. It's about a gosh, I can't even, it's about a boy and his childhood and his adulthood and it's him telling you the story and it's, it's fantastic. Just go, go buy it if you like fantasy and give it a shot. I'm excited to continue that story in The Wise Man's Fear. I've been wanting to read Joe Abercrombie for a while and I found this book called Best Served Cold, which basically is a Kill Bill sort of story. It's about a woman who is betrayed and then decides that she is going to kill all the people that betrayed her, I think, I hope. Maybe I'm interjecting my own um, desires into this book, but it sounded really awesome. Strong female character is what I go for in my science fiction and fantasy, so hoping this fits the bill. This next book I read about on Kirkus Reviews, and that is The Only Ones by Carola Dibble. This is, I think it takes place in a post-apocalyptic dystopian sort of setting, and it is about a young woman who is immune to a bunch of diseases that have ravaged the planet, and she is participating in some kind of genetic experiment where she donates her genes, and this woman who lost her son, who's very wealthy, can have another child, I guess, who won't die because of the diseases that are killing everyone and I think that somehow it ends up that this young woman who donated the genes for this child to be born actually has the child, like not 
gives birth to the child, but she is in possession of the child and, um, yeah, has to kind of figure out how to live now that she's a mother in this world. This next one is pretty famous on YouTube, and that is Nine Fox Gambit by Yoon Ha Lee. So this one, I believe, is about a commander, another strong woman protagonist, and she fails at some kind of mission or is disgraced in some way, and then she's offered this really impossible, dangerous mission as a chance of, for redemption. So she, of course, takes it, and she is helped by this undead tactician. It sounds awesome. Also picked up Signal to Noise by Silvia Moreno-Garcia. This one is, I believe, about a group of kids who discover magic. They live in Mexico, and then something happens, something bad happens, and they're separated, and then years later they come back together for the resolution, I'm assuming. Also picked up Stories of Your Life and Others by Ted Chang. This is a collection of short stories, and I believe one of the short stories is the basis for the movie The Arrival, which I have not watched yet, but I've heard it's fantastic. And during school, as I've said before in previous videos, short story collections really work for me because I don't have a lot of time to read and I can just read a short story and then put the book down. Um, so yeah, hoping this one is a good one. I've never read this author before. Also picked up the third book in the Southern Reach trilogy, which is Acceptance by Jeff Vandermeer. The first book is, a, it's called Annihilation, and it's about these three women, three or four women, can't remember how many, but they're all scientists of some kind, and they go into this Area X to explore it, and things happen, weird things happen, and it's a great book, it's got great atmosphere, and it's also filled with short little novels, this trilogy, so I'm hoping that maybe I can actually get to this sooner rather than later. This next book I picked up because it reminded me of the plot of the movie The Village, the, you know, M. Night Shyamalan's movie, and it's probably nothing like that, but this is The Painted Man by Peter V. Brett, and it is about these people that live under these protections because there are creatures that go bump in the night that will kill them otherwise if they don't, and I think the protections start to fail, and they have to find a way to fight back. Something along those lines. Also picked up a book called Planet Fall by Emma Newman. This book is about colonists um, colonizing another planet besides Earth, and they are sort of led by this messiah, charismatic sort of figure, and then the main character, who's a woman, again, are you seeing a theme in this book haul? <laughs> um, I think begins to discover that things are not as they seem. Also picked up The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. I really don't know what this one is about. I haven't watched a lot of in-depth reviews of this book, but I do know that it's supposed to be fantastic, and I think, well, I was reading the back and it was more mysterious than informative, but I think it's about uh, three different um, characters who are women, maybe, hopefully. And, um... I don't know, the end of the world, maybe? That's a good guess when you're reading any kind of science fiction fantasy book, right? I don't know. But I also picked up the second book, The Obelisk Gate. So I'm really hoping that I like this series. I have a really good feeling about it. I usually don't buy books unless I have a really great feeling about the author and people that I respect on YouTube have read it and loved it. So. That is the case with these two, so I'm hoping it works out. Also picked up Lost in a Good Book by Jasper Ford. This is the second book in the Thursday Next series. Thursday Next is a literary detective, and there's time travel involved. Her father is a time traveler, and there are a lot of literary references. The first book had a lot to do with uh, Jane Eyre. So, yeah, this is a natural for me. I really enjoyed the first book. It was a lot of fun. So I'm eager to continue this series and see where it goes.
also picked up a book by Joe Walton. This is The Philosopher Kings. This is the second book in a series and the first book was called The Just City. The Just City um, is a story about how the gods, I think Athena and Apollo, have decided to conduct this sort of experiment where they create the just city as Plato imagined it. And Apollo is reincarnated as a mortal boy, so he plays a big part in the first book. And it's about the ethical dilemmas that come up and what exactly goes into creating this just city and does it work and I'm not really sure where the second book is going to go considering how the first book left off but I heard that it takes place many many years later so I'm not going to enjoy the characters that I enjoyed in the first book except maybe for Apollo so we'll see what happens. Also a lot of people hated this book. I Not this book but the just city and I don't know why I really really enjoyed it. No. Here is an author that I love, Octavia E. Butler. Uh, this is a collection. This is, I believe, a series. It's called Seed to Harvest, and it includes four different books in it. I'm not really sure what the plot is all about, but this is one of those authors that I'm just going to read everything that she puts out there because she's so interesting and unique. Okay, so I think that's where I'm going to stop this first part of this haul. I have many more science fiction and fantasy books to talk about in the second part, and also the books that I picked up at the thrift shop, which are not science fiction and fantasy. Um, I'm trying not to edit as much, if you couldn't tell during the course of this video and you're used to my other videos. Um, I'm just trying to be okay with the things that are coming out of my mouth and trying not to edit every other um and um, trying not to worry about not being a very articulate speaker. So yeah, that's the product, really, really long videos. So I had to split this in two. And um, if you're interested in seeing more books, then go check out the second part of the haul. All right, bye-bye.